Who exactly is Jacob Rees? Rees was an immigrant from Denmark who became a journalist in the late 19th century in New York City. He devoted himself to documenting how the lower class of society lived and the working conditions they had to deal with. His work carried an enormous impact in American society and striked the beginning advances of better living and working conditions for the poor. He learned photography using early flash techniques to photograph the slums of New York. Reese used his photographic skills to carry impact and stress the struggle the lower class was going through, which ultimately shocked the American public. Jacob Reese's main goal of his photography was not to romanticize or make the city look pretty, but to show the truth behind what the lower class was going through, regardless of how gruesome and brutal these pictures may look. In my opinion, I believe most of Reese's artwork is interpretive and ethically evaluative. I think it's interpretive because you can take it how you want to see the picture. You can see whether they look happy, sad, the struggles. You can place these emotions with these images. I also think it's ethically evaluative because it raises questions into how the city got this bad, how the conditions got this horrible for these people to live in, how they got to this point in their lives where they had no other option but to sleep in police stations. It raises question into how you could take part in this change and how to stop this from happening to more people in the future. I believe this artwork is specifically important to the photography community and society as a whole because it raises this interest and this care in people and brings out these emotions that not necessarily every photograph would because it makes you feel for these people and makes you question how it got to this point for them. Most of Reese's artwork is now in the book called How the Other Half Lives that was published by Kessinger Publishing. Despite the success of his photographs during his lifetime, his photos were largely forgotten after his death. Ultimately, his negatives were found and brought to the attention of the Museum of the City of New York, where a retrospective exhibition of his work was held in 1947. For all of Jacob Reese's photography, he used the medium with the magnesium flash powder to create vivid images that are still produced in black and white, but carried such deep impact in what's going on in the actual photographs that it did not matter if they were in black and white. Specifically looking at this image of the Ludlow Street cellar dwelling, you can see that although their face is blurry, you can still see the emotion they carry. They seem upset and that they're stressed. If you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the pots and pans that they're stuck, that's all of their dishware they have. You can see the small heater in the bottom right corner, that's their only source of heat. And the filth built along the walls that they're stuck with, and how dirty the mother's clothes are. And this is an example of how impactful his images are, and although it's in black and white, it can still carry all of this emotion and curiosity and what you could do to help, which was the main goal of his photography. Once again with this image of the lodging room at Leonard Street Police Station, the faces are blurry. There is a huge white background on the back too, but all that really does is draw attention to the amount of faces in the room. You can see how many people there are crammed together and how they're stuck in this tiny box of a room and there are so many men stuck there because this reiterates the main purpose of Reese's goal was to show how bad these living conditions were. Overall, these types of images were the ones that brought the most attention to his cause and what he was trying to fix with the society, and these images are what made the difference in the world. Overall, Jacob Reese's work added a new layer to photography by showing it can be used for more than just taking pictures of pretty things. He showed that this can be used as a statement piece and can make change in the world if you use it the right way. He's very impactful in society and the world of photography as well because he created new limits.